హలో స్టూడెంట్స్ వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు అవర్ ఛానల్ దీక్షా కర్ణాటక సో యు నో యువర్ కామెట్ కే ట్వంటీ ట్వంటీ ఫోర్ ఎగ్జామ్ ఈజ్ అప్రోచింగ్ అండ్ యూ హ్యావ్ లైక్ అరౌండ్ వన్ ఎయిటీ క్వశ్చన్స్ అండ్ వన్ ఎయిటీ మినిట్స్ సో రఫ్లీ యూ క్యాన్ సే యూ విల్ బి హ్యావింగ్ వన్ మినిట్ ఫర్ ఈచ్ క్వశ్చన్ సో ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో విల్ బి డిస్కసింగ్ అవర్ స్ట్రాటజీ ఆర్ యూ కెన్ సే సమ్ టిప్స్ విచ్ కెన్ హెల్ప్ యూ టు మేనేజ్ టైమ్ అండ్ ఫినిష్ ఆల్ ద క్వశ్చన్స్ ఇన్ ఇన్ ద స్పెసిఫిక్ అలాటెడ్ టైమ్ రైట్ సో లెట్ అస్ సీ ఫస్ట్ ఓకే so now if you see what basically you have to do is you cannot give like if there is one minute for one question it is not like exactly you have to distribute in that way it depends again on the question like how much time each question can take so now first of all uh, when you solve a question so what methods we have to generally follow it's very basic thing first of all you have to read the question carefully then you have to understand what what value or what value you have to find in that particular question and then what think of the approach like what formula we have to think uh, like it may be sometimes like indirect method we have to find first one value and then we have to substitute it then you have to solve the problem uh, using the correct formulas and all then you have to check the calculation so here this time calculator is also available so you should not make any mistake in the calculation and then you have to mark the correct answer right so now if you see i'll just give an example here are like two questions are there both the questions are from electrochemistry if you see this question what is the spontaneity of a cell so this question delta g has to be negative right so this is this question will not take one minute right so whatever time you save in this question that has to be utilized in some this type of questions where more number of or you can say uh, where you need more calculation or time has to be given you have to invest more time in such type of questions so those questions which are very easy you should not take more time in solving them so just correct uh, mark the correct answer here you do not have to even encircle the bubble so you can save a lot of time so correct analysis and correct judgment of the questions will help you to save a lot of time now we will see some tips and tricks that you can use in the exam hall to manage time properly okay so first is uh, allocate specific time slots for different sections of the exam so i'll be recommending you for example if you have chemistry so always start with chemistry because it is easy and scoring topic right so from that you can allot like 40 minutes around to chemistry to solve 60 questions because most of the questions there will not be requiring one minute because they are like you have to just see the question and mark no calculations are involved then for physics you can give around 50 minutes and then for maths you can give around 70 minutes because maths involve a lot of calculations so you have to give more time to that and then the rest 20 minutes whatever you are having you can use it for uh your uh, uh like reviewing the uh, wrong uh, like whatever questions you have doubt reviewing that and just checking the all the answers once again now skip strategically this is very important so once you are stuck at any question you are going through they are doing solving questions one by one and if you are stuck in any question so then don't start there or don't waste more time in that particular question just mark it for review if you have idea on that question if you do not have just skip it and then go to the next question and later if you have uh, time you can come back and review it okay so if you like if you are solving it again and again you are you are not getting it your mind will be disturbed you will get panic and that will affect your uh, next questions which you are solving okay okay next is your eliminate wrong answers so this is very e like very important and like when you are having four options and you are not able to decide which is the answer so uh, try to think in the elimination method where you can uh, eliminate two or three options like one or two options you can eliminate so the lesser options you have you will have uh, you can like more choices will give you more confusion when lesser options are there you can think more effectively and reach the the probability to reach the correct answer will also increase right so always try elimination method when and this one you can use your logic some options are like completely irrelevant you can eliminate them then some two options are opposite to each other then also you can eliminate them right okay next is your shortcut technique so this is very important and so i'll tell you for every calculation do not go for calculator some very easy multiplication addition you are there just use it by your own do it by your own so that you can save a lot of time there and you have like some pattern recognition strategies if you have shortcut formulas you have like for example in chemistry we have shortcut to find aldol product to find bond order right so such type of shortcut methods you can use which can save a lot of time okay, next is prioritize the questions this is important so whichever question you find easy okay so first try to solve them so this is because when you start with easy questions you are able to solve it and you will get a confidence your mind will be in a positive state so that you can do other questions also better now once you start with some difficult questions which you are not able to solve you will get panic and you will waste time there 
and all other questions also the time the question which you could have easily solved in like two three uh, seconds it will take more time for that your brain cannot process the question easily okay so to boost your confidence and to make your mind positive set so just have your start with the easy questions next stay calm and focused so this is also very important the same thing if even if you are not getting any answer so just uh, leave that question for that time and then review it later you might be able to know the answer for that if you keep panicking there and thinking about the same question again and again it may disturb you and waste your time there right okay so now utilize so how you will practice these things how this time management everything where you can practice so you are having mock test so just use this mock test try to write the mock test under exam conditions seriously for 3 hours try to manage time you have like as i told you you can practice chemistry 40 uh, physics 50 minutes and math 70 minutes so try to uh, solve the questions in the same allocated time and try to finish all the questions within 180 minutes and see how much time you are getting to review the questions okay so that all things you can do and skip the questions if you don't know the approach at all so there's no point of at the end you can make any logical guess or any random guess because there's no negative marking so it is better if you attempt all the questions okay next you can practice elimination method wherever necessary in the while doing the uh, questions then mark the questions where you allotted more time okay so this is very important when you are solving mock test if you are taking any question more time so just mark those questions and check the solutions if you have any shortcut method or if you have any better way of solving these questions okay there will be certain questions which will be lengthy but there may be some uh, easy way of solving them or some uh, round of methods how we can use the calculations easily okay okay yeah so these were the important tips and tricks how you can solve the questions properly in the specific allotted time so if you have found this video helpful please like share and subscribe our channel thank you